Hello and welcome back to Pillars of Eternity. So we are in the Aguathan Ruin Silaban Rilag and we're just basically uh, having a look around. I believe that we're looking for some leaden key activity and we're seeing a whole bunch of corrupted druids. Oh no, no, don't go, don't go through the trap. Okay, well I did rest before we started the episode but apparently uh, we're going to rest again. Now I'm starting to think that right. I should turn on uh, pause when I see trap. That could be uh, useful. Because quite often you just want the AI to just stop. Okay, so we have a room that we can enter, I think. Yeah, with high mechanics, which we have. Need something? Everyone stealth. Hey, Wrap everyone. See what's in here. Get through the door. As promised. Okay, so that is a sword. Just quick save. Hey. The sword, quick save. Animats. Okay. Hello. Get it? <laughs> Can't get a good Okay, um let's drop in let's let's flank them, first of all. Um buff everyone. We wanna blind this one. Um what are they weak to? Electricity. Do we we have some electricity on this guy, don't we? Yeah, we have like some electrical storms we can push. Uh wait, will that only hit enemies or will that hit people with an area of effect? Random single enemy. Okay, cool. Get get his lightning storm going. Okay. That'll work, hopefully. There we go. Lightning. Uh wait, is this one? Is this a lightning spell as well? Thin bolts of lightning. Um but is that on hey, enemies within the area of effect. Yeah, okay, cool. Cast it. Um Go knock down this one. Dead. There we are. We're, we're good. Probably don't even need that last lightning, but alright. I mean, I maybe gave these guys a bit too much credit. They seem to fall fairly easily. Um. Alright, I assumed behind hidden door, high damage reduction, maybe there'd be a challenge, but maybe that damage reduction isn't that much high anymore for us. Quiet. Okay. Supper's, uh, Sura's Supper Plate. Okay, it's a fine shield. What's retaliation? Characters hitting the, set, hitting the person get 6 to 10 pierce damage? Stolen from the table of the ogre matron Sura by Ferun Dulka after he infiltrated her compound to assassinate her, Sura's Supper Plate has become an assassin's running joke. In the moment of his triumph, Ferun pulled the iron plate from under the matron's lifeless head and held it up uh, like a shield. Thinking himself quite clever, he took the plate and several of Sarah's eating utensils to a local blacksmith and a shield fashioned from them. The sharp blades protruding from the front of the shield proved an excellent deterrent against foes at close range, and Fern took to wielding it regularly until he lost his shield, his arm and his life to Sarah's daughter. And a tiny animat pet. Um, I mean the shield is obviously for you. The tiny animat pet could be an like anyone. Okay, let's see. How does this compare to Larder Door? So Larder Door grants Bash as a hit. So this lowers your deflection by 8. Alright. Uh, but also is fine, so you get an extra 4 of shield deflection. So it only lowers it by 4. And retaliation. But we could enchant Larder Door, couldn't we? Yeah, we could enchant it with fine if we wanted. In fact, we could do that fairly easily. But why don't we do that? I mean, yeah. We, we've done it. Um, What do we need to... We need a Viscrack brain. Okay. But yeah, now Larder Door is just significantly better. Yeah. Okay. Hey. That's fine. We, we have a shield if we find another shield user. Maybe someone like Heravius could use it. But, I mean... Do we want him to use it? I mean... What does he have? What's it? What's his stats uh, here? I forgot what we took. No, nope, none of this. Yeah, why don't we give him a shield? I mean, there's no reason for him not to have the shield. It just gives him more deflection if he's in uh, melee form. Hey. Well, not melee form. If he's in, uh, like, uh, if he's using his melee weapon. So that that, that could work. And there are situations where he might do that, where if he switches out of cat form and he's still alive next to them. 
He has a shield. He can kind of hold out. Oh, Edir wants to talk. Okay. Uh, hello, Edir. I hope I didn't seem ungrateful back there in the battlefield. And you went out of your way. You had a lot on your Got mind. real close. Didn't expect that. You know, for a second, I thought I was going to finally see some answers. Foolish, of course. And why should I get answers? There's a world of Aethasians out there who don't know if their god's been blown up. Still, man can't help looking back. Guess you'd know that well as anyone. Edir stares off, focusing on some distant thing, unseen and unrealized. I turned my back on my god when he needed me. That's all I'll ever know. Um, yeah, let's think. So what would your brother have to, had to say about that? You did what you had to, even if Wade Wynn was Aethys, his actions were destructive. It does seem like you put your faith in the wrong side. He'd have brought unity if he was by force. Your mistake was in waiting for someone else to tell you what was right. I don't know. Let's ask what his brother would have said. Well, I mean, maybe not bring that up. Let's just, um, let's try and, uh, like, I mean, it sounds like Wade Wynn wasn't doing good stuff. So, yeah. You did what you had to. Even if Wade Wynn was Aethys, his actions were destructive. His actions didn't seem righteous enough for a god. That's why me and Woden had Wade Wynn figured for a pretender. It didn't occur to me that my god might actually mean to do harm to his own. Something to think about, I guess. Hey. Mm. Okay. I get the feeling there's more to hear from that. Okay. Get that. Get that druid. Um, I don't like any of what's happening here, so I think we're going to bring out a fire spell. Uh, bring out a fire spell. Um, yeah, we're getting Plague of Locusts, and we're getting some antlers appearing to hurt us. Okay, let's also do this. Shoot you with one of those. Uh, get Wolf to attack it. Knock down this one. This one's... Um, Durant's, we'll give everyone the buff, and where are we? We're right there. Uh, blind the druid. There we go. Oh wow. There's a lot of death stuff just happened there. Um, from them, basically. Okay, you need to heal. Like, significantly heal. Uh, go hit... The pig run? The angry one is down. Someone might. Okay. Yeah, he just fell straight away. Almost want to rest again, but we have no way to rest. Wow, the amount of damage they just did to us. Crazy. Okay, get the pig run. Um, you knock over the corrupted. Okay. Back three. You want to maybe? All right, you got him. Okay. Get the druid. There we go. Perfect. Uh, you yeah, actually got him though? Yeah. And then attack Mekpig, whatever that is. Or Menpegwa. Okay. I heal. Excuse me? At least don't summon more enemies against us. It just has 10 damage reduction. Oh, well that's easy. We, we can beat 10 damage reduction. We have 50 damage. I guess this is time to uh, try out and detonate. Oh. You about to use detonate on that one? Yeah, there we go. That sounded neat, but I don't think it actually hit before it died. Okay. Or backup. What did we lose? We got dexterity and burn damage reduction, and we also got severe wound healing received. Gone down. Okay. We'll grab a quick save. Of course. There was another corrupted oh, druid what? in that room who didn't spot us, which is neat. Nice. Get it? Dead on. Yeah. This one should be fairly easy, I would imagine, in terms of fights. Um, we may have to leave the area. This is something I don't really want to do, but we may have to, so. Um, we'll see if we can get Slow to, inside. like, usually they put camping supplies in an area, so. We'll see what we can find. 
Like camping supplies? Ah, no, no luck. We should be able to do at least one more fight, like one more big fight. Um, and depending on how it goes, we could do better. Oh, quick save. This is this is definitely like you're about to fight something. Trap detected. Okay, trap detected. Go get it. Okay, uh, change of plan. Everybody unstealth. No. Uh, I guess we do that. Eddier? Hey. Yeah, okay. This isn't great. I'm trying to work out where I want everyone to go. I guess fire on the spore links. Uh, we'll drop down another AoE. Uh, shoot the dank spore with your attack. Like with that attack. Probably go into that mode as well. I guess that means Wolf should attack the Dank Spore over there as well. Uh, where are we? We are here. Like blind the Sporling? Oh, and buff everyone. Oh, I hate the confusion. It is the worst. Okay. Um... And where is the remove negatives from someone? Uh, that one removes paralyze. Something like... Ah, it's this one. Suppress affliction. Die! Breathe. Ooh. There we are. Right. We can now hey. use him to <laughs> go against the dank spore. Okay. Hit it. Um... We knock down that Sporling. You two attack that one. Uh, next move. Can we just like extremely buff us? I'm here. Continue to shoot the dank Spore. Wolf attack that Sporling. You attack that one. Why are we not attacking? Are we stuck or something? Uh, no, we're we're there. Okay, go yeah. get go get the uh, next one. Okay, wolf attack that one. Eddier is fine. Um, we might want to do something else, like um, I don't know. Maybe just give a huge buff to Eddier as well, and then maybe suppress affliction on Eddier. Okay. Um, I think this. Oh, we don't have rolling wave. Um. Russian stun rolling wave, not really what I'm looking for. Uh, anything? Maybe just go Stelgar. Buff it up. Go hit the Sporlings. Um, us here. Uh, well, with her here. I don't know. Um, maybe just attack the uh, Sporlings. Right, Eddier. Go get the Swamp Spore. No, please switch to your melee weapon and go get the Swamp Spear. Okay, um, self heal. Okay, not quite enough, but still there. And then maybe withdraw. Okay, Stalegar's almost got it. There we go. This one in over here. Yeah, okay. Us three attack this one. Okay. Dead on. This is fine. Um, detonate, I guess, on the swamp spore. This is a long cast. Um, oh, she stopped casting it. Yeah, okay, that's really annoying. Um, Stalegar attack. Oh, you're not Stalegar anymore. Okay. Um, da, 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 da. Hit, hit it with something that attacks over time. Okay. Switch to a weapon, attack it. Attack it, not Grieving Mother. You attack this one. Eddier, switch to your weapon, attack this one. My mind feels sharp okay. as steel. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm uh. Yep, we're having some issues here. That's fine. Um, 
Maybe we'll try and do some, like, do we know it's weak to? It's weak to piercing. Do we have piercing? A slashing. We have another one of these that's piercing, right? Um, piercing, pier pierce damage. Yeah. There we are. Fine. That's what Just we're after. Blood <laughs> uh, oh, oh, we're still there. Right, you. Hit your thing on that spore over there. Our amazingly powerful cipher. Detonate this thing. <laughs> that was a lot of damage, but it still didn't kill it. Wow. My touch. Okay. Uh, Durant's is back, which is nice. Um, Durant's. Uh, yeah, we've got some things here. Um, how about grant immunity to <clears throat> him? You can't because he's not an ally currently. Okay. Um, suppress affliction on my mind that feels group. sharp as steel. There we are. Uh, there we go. There, suppress thing has been suppressed. Now, wait. Oh my God! Another one appeared and got suppressed. Okay. Um, what are these? Is there only weak to fire? That, uh, not weak. They're not weak to fire. Sorry. Um. Oh, we got one that we got more about. Weak to water, or ice. Um. That is what this does, right? Uh, it'd be nice if we could see what that means, but okay. So if we do this, there's a chance that this will hurt it. Okay. Go and hit it. Not you. Um. Hit it. You... Ice it. There we go. Is it dead yet? No. Don't hit your teammate. Okay, we're, we're, we're fine. Go back. Did you walk Found through? The... Wait, get rid of the trap. You, get rid of the trap. There we go. Get the spore. Kill it. As the Durant's walk back a little bit. Okay, so they are weak to what looks like ice. Okay, glad we got that sorted. Uh, no, we have no more ice moves, of course, but we got that sorted. Um, I don't know. Uh, oh, that, there's so many things I would like to cast, but none of them are really working. How about the fire burn damage over time one? No, we can't get an angle where it won't hurt. Eddier. Immunity to confused. Okay. Go for it. Breathe. Yeah. Hey. Eddie's back. Okay, hit it. No, with your weapon. Knock it over if you can as well, even though it doesn't work. Ready? Wrong target. Right, shoot the swamp spore. Do not do what you are currently doing. Um, right. Uh, what we're we looking for? Looking for one of these, just something that'll do, like damage that will hurt it. Uh, what do they take damage from? Oh, they're weak. They're immune to ice. Oh, they actually take less damage from ice. Okay, what's what's the drop? Is there a water attack? I don't think I've seen anything that does water damage, but maybe there is. Maybe it's like acid or something. I don't know. Poison, perhaps. Uh, we don't have anything that does that. Do we have? We have fire. I mean, we could try our fire damage one on it. Let's try it. Let's see how it works. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Here we are. Uh, switch back to your bow and arrow. Really far away to start shooting this. There we go. This should be hurting it, right? This fight is It's down. Okay. One last one. One dank spore left. Uh go disarm, please. Ichimok, stay close. Durant, I hate you so much. Right, Durant, switch to your bow and arrow. Mm. We're, we're going full range against this one. Mm. Did I not just switch him to his bow and arrow? Did he I just switch back? Okay. Double death. He stepped on another That's trap. 
Leave it. That's amazing. Maybe not, maybe not another trap. Okay. Reload. Shoot a spore. This might be the longest reload I, I've ever seen. It barely hurts it. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think of what we can do. We've got a lot of time to think about it because his reload is actually insane. Okay. Okay. Um, interesting. Uh, well, given that it doesn't appear to be versus range or not for whether he can attack things, let's just move him in. Hit it. Trap triggered. Who set the traps to protect the spores? I thought the spores were meant to be the trap. Okay, heal. You're not getting there through me. Ninety percent chance to hit it. There we go. Oh, we interrupted it. We did crash damage. Um, we got healed because of he got healed because of something. He was hitting it. He got healed again. Okay. Uh, he managed to hit it again, and it's down. Okay, so. Ready when you are. <sighs> hey. That was fun. Um, I can definitely see why you might want immunity to confusion at this point. That's crazy. Okay. Uh, and I bet we don't get a single bit of camping supplies, so we have to go back. Yep, no camping supplies at all. Unless this guy has it. Camping supplies? He has fine male armor. Okay. Fine scale armor. That. Anything? Anything? Nope. Okay. Well, uh, time to leave, I guess. Right. I'll be right back for you. Be a little bit for me. Right. So, as I said, it will be mere seconds for you, but it's been a couple minutes for me. We have now gone and got all that we need to get. Uh, I also stocked up on a few uh, grappling hooks in case we need it. Um, for like getting over passages or anything. Because I noticed we didn't have any. Uh, but apart from that, yeah. Time to uh, head down. Okay, so very Hostiles. big area again. This is just a big hall. Which leads me to believe we're going to fight in it. That's, that's usually what big halls are for. Ooh. It was definitely some lead and key members, followed by some uh, animate animats. Okay. Get on. Let's get them. Yeah. Oh, you at the back? Attack this one. Not even slowing oh. a down. Uh, hit that one, uh, and then we might as well give us the accuracy bonus, Durant, even though it'll be dead before it comes to that point. There we go. Now hit it. Oh, it's dead. Good. A series of pictographs, simple but clear, are carved in the column of the alcove. Figures of men and women with their arms raised um, are carved into the top of this column. Suits of armor in the same pose have been chiseled into the bottom. Okay. Cool. So, we've got a door which needs, like, mechanics. I'll take a look. Open. I mean, let's, let's see do what's it. in here. Hello? What is in here? Water? Uh, okay, there's a rain blight and a massive bit of Adra. A man and a woman, carved from lustrous Adra, pour the contents of a vase at their feet. Oh, yeah. I can kind of see that there, yeah. Okay. Um, Want to beat up the rain blight? Don't even yeah, <laughs> yes, we will. Um, give everyone a buff to oh, being able to hit, I guess. That didn't work. Uh, wait, are we using our... No, we should be using our crush weapon. There we are. Now we're back to where we are now. I know some of them can't hit, but I don't really want to work out who has pierced weapons when they die that quickly. Of course. Okay. Understood. Uh, get that. Hey. Grab them all, and let's have a look around. Nothing will slip past me. Nothing. Yeah, nothing here. So that's another way in to this massive Adra chamber. I kind of want to go back and look at the other route. Yeah. Let's... Um, hey, Animat. What's up? Yeah. We'll, we'll just beat you up. Can't get a good there shot with this. Nice and easy. Okay. So there are Animats move around. 
Imagine this hey. could be a lot tougher if you weren't quite as prepared as we are in terms of strength. Like, we are severely Mark probably overprepared. So. Cool. And here we've got a chamber filled of ad filled with Adva. Oh, hey, Phantom. What's up? Curses. There we are. Uh, yeah. These are nice and easy to fight now, right? Mm hmm. Everybody, next one. Is I hear running water? Like gas? Hmm. Interesting. Used to have stopped now. Maybe it was the phantom was making the noise. Uh, Adra grows from a central pillar that seems to spill down to the steps. Luminous egg shaped stones hey. are nested within the Bar rippling Adra. Fire cast light in dark places. Okay. Another animat. Which we will truly destroy. Uh, where are you going? I mean, it seemed to work out alright for us, but I'm still kind of wondering where it really goes. Um, right. We'll get our resident cipher to hit them all with their ability. Apart from that, we're generally fine. And uh, knock them over. Um, we should probably attack that one and like, blind it. The rest, I'll attack this. Which Adra? This Adra. There you go. That didn't work. Now, everyone can attack this Adra except the wolf. There we are. Perfect. Wolf can die as many times as we like. It really, there's really no penalty for the wolf dying. Adra just got fully healed. Don't know if you saw that. That's a bit a little bit weird, but fine, okay. Should be able to defeat it at some point. This one repels. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Now get this one. Alright, she's so suggesting that she needs a more powerful attack. Ready, watcher. We'll switch around to more powerful attack then. Cool. Grab her loot. Hopefully. Of course. Yeah. Mm, it just appears to be like yeah, random shield. I'm on the trail. Things. Hopefully it'll sell for a lot at some point, no? And then we get round into this chamber. Uh, did we need anything to open this door? No, this door just opens. Fine. That leads into this chamber, which is pretty neat. Looks like kind of blacksmith chamber. I'm going to leave that alone for just now. We're going to head back this way and we're going to see what's on the other side. I just want to see what we're getting ourselves into at each side, because maybe there's one that's a little bit, you know, better my to use than others. That's open. As my feet. We didn't open it, though. So maybe the anima opened it earlier? Hey. Yeah, okay, we can at least disarm the traps. That's nice. So this is probably, yeah, this is the route we want to take, because um, disarming trap route usually means easier fight route. As far as I've seen. <laughs> Curses! Yeah. Blinder than a horpox bat. Okay. They shall see uh, nothing while I see much. Gouting mode? Alright yeah, then. There we are. Uh what's in here? Phantom, 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 phantom. Okay. Get him. Curse. I'm blinder yep. than uh, all of you guys at the back, attack that one. Uh, and then we'll do this. Give one a buff. Uh, okay. On to the back, attack this one. Dead on. Resident Cypher. Dead on. Uh, attack everyone. Attack everyone. Oh, there's only one left, so, yeah. Might just, uh, oh no, we, did, we gotta hit it. There we go. Right, grab our loot. Nothing will slip past me. What we got here? Pit Gramson's alcove portray a procession marching to an altar. A lone figure stands upon the altar, and another member of the procession drives a dagger into his heart. Uh, something flows from the dying man into a white stone, uh, perched above the altar. I would assume blood. Runes and symbols are scratched into the stone. You don't know how to read them. Okay. Um. Leave it to. Murder animat. Get no. on. Get it. Get it. Uh, get the will o' wisp. Get the other will o' wisp, I guess. Will o' wisps used to be a challenge. Uh, now they're just like, nope, 
can kill in two hits. Okay. Um. Right. Use your cast on it. Good friends. Oh, it actually killed an enemy as it spawned. Fantastic. Okay. So I don't, I don't know get to know what it is, but I suspect it was a will o -wisp, didn't work. Judging Need by to what try was there. Else. Maybe it was the will o -wisp teleporting? I seem to remember them being able to do that. Okay. Grab loot. Hey. Yup. Uh, we know what animats are, aren't we? We saw them before. Uh, bestiary. Yeah, we saw animats before. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah, because there were different types of animats we found. I was hey. just checking. Uh, anything else here? Grab the vase. Um, this the same as the previous one? Uh, figures emerge below. Hey. Outstretched arms and triumphant, uh, serene expressions. Yeah, pretty much the same. Hey. Some sort of cult activity was going on here. Things are happening. Okay. We will find out, no doubt, very soon <laughs> what kind of things Lead and Key are doing. We kind of know what they do. They do stuff with souls. Why they do it? Nobody's really sure. Something. F okay. Uh, pale stone surrounding a suit of armor. Something flows uh, from the stones into the armor, imbuing it with a golden halo. Okay, so that's creating animats, obviously. Four egg shaped stones sit atop. Um, uh, sit atop. Short. Sorry. Uh, narrow pedestals all face an altar in the middle of the room. Yes, that is that is correct. Not nothing we can do about that though. Okay. They shall see nothing while I And then see this much. leads us back into central room. Right? You wanna maybe come this way, uh, Eddier? Okay. So that leads us somewhere. For it. This leads us somewhere, obviously. Not even uh, get the rain black. Yeah. No problem. Get the next rain blight. And then this is something all by itself. Okay. Hey. Cool. Grab the loot. Hey. Grab the loot. There we go. Yeah, they they do look interesting, those things there. Anyway. Just say the word. Um right. hey. let's have a look in this chamber. Oh, we need to open the door. Okay. Lay in low. Straight through here. Okay, yeah, this is what we fought before. Yeah, kill it. Um, you go blind that one. You knock it down. You buff everyone. Uh, Haravius, probably time to shape shift. Uh, we'll get you to attack that one. You hobble. This one. Wolf, go attack that one. Uh, and you can flank this one. Okay. Go get it. Okay. Well, this is awful. Um, okay. Still, we seem to be doing fine. Durance, anything we want to cast here? Probably not. Maybe... Wait, do we got one of his runes? We put his repulsing seal here. Yeah. That'll make it harder for them to come over and fight us. Uh, Haravius, I think it's time to use your buff. There we go. And now we can get all three of you to attack this Adra. And you can attack that one. Cool. You... Uh, you hey. go and attack this one. Need you go ah. attack this one. I think I'm wasted or, or repelling thing. I don't think I quite worked. I don't think I quite remembered uh, correctly how that worked. Okay, burn the animat. I want to see if burning works. Uh, attack this, this one. Ah. Oh, there we go. Ah. Got Perfect. Burning appears to work. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I forgot I switched them to bow. You can use your, you can use your uh, thing if you like. Attack that anime. Right, what's it called? The staff? Yeah, the staff's pretty good. Right, get the animate that's trying to run around. Okay, cool. Yup. That was easy. Like, 
real easy. Uh, grab the loot. Uh, we actually got a necklace, but I didn't get, to, uh, I didn't, uh, like, put that in our actual inventory. I put that in our stash. So we'll look at that later. I'll take a look. Okay, so they got a lot of armor racks, because I guess that's how they make these guys. They, uh, like, infuse armor. Runes and symbols, I don't know. People, uh, hitting iron over a forge, fill this alcove. Yeah, okay, so the alcove say what was done in the room. Basically. Nothing will slip past me. Yeah, okay. There's nothing else in the room, however. Okay. So it makes, this makes me think that the side rooms are very much side rooms, like side side, proper side rooms, Shh. but we'll see. Yeah, okay, the side rooms are definitely, like that's where we want to go in the end. You know, we'll just, we'll open the door. We'll open the door, we I can always know. explore the rest later. At least I assume we can. Let's see what's right. in here. Uh, open the door. We had to use some lock picks, but that's fine. Well, that's the way up. Okay. Well, no better way to show that this is the way that, like, that's the end of the area. Ah, that must be the way up to the other side. And yeah. what does the flame reveal? Flame reveal. Okay, get the sector. I'm blinded. Uh, if anyone could actually hit it. Well, I guess we'll do this as well. Give everyone the buff. Make it a little bit easier. Um, use your AOE attack. Please hit it if you can. Please hit it if you can. Okay. About to die. Nope. There we go. Right. Uh, everyone attack. Uh, well, everyone attack this phantom. Okay. Hey. My mind feels. Uh, oh, Eddie is stunned. That's why he's not moving out of the area. Everyone attack this phantom. Cool. <laughs> he'll die very soon. Dead on. Hopefully. Another hit. One more hit. There we go. And everybody get the last one. If we can actually ever hover over it. There we go. Hey. Cool. He's dead. Uh, lots of loot. Grab that. Hey. Okay. Only the wolf died. And then we get the pool of water. Um, what we got here? A man and woman carved from lustrous adra pour the contents of the vase at their feet. Okay. Quick save. Let's see what happens. We got a key and adra. Okay. So that's the way that you're meant to get through that door. You're meant to get the key from the room and then you can go through this door. Okay. But if you have mechanics, you can skip the... the I was going to say puzzle, but it's like, you can skip the extra room. That's fine. We want experience. Right. Up we go. Nothing will slip right. past me. Yeah. This definitely is leading to where the Lenin Key will be. Uh-huh. Another machine. Well, this didn't go so well for my companions last time. Ooh. Oh, well, well, I'm there. It, it, it kind of just gave me camera control back. I'm going to have a look around the edge here. See what we got. So that's the way out. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Where does this go? Or what is this? Something in the center. Uh, something in the ether hums and buzzes through your teeth. Okay. These guys disintegrate, yeah, and, but this one can be interacted with, okay. A haze of essence lingers over the body, as faint and insubstantial as dust plume in the rider's wake. Yet, as you draw close, whispered instructions echo in your ears, and anticipation warms your blood. In a vision, you see the same stone machine you approached moments ago, but from a different height and angle, as, through, as though through different eyes. You'd heard rumours that some of your brethren were sent here months before, Yet, you see no sign that anyone has been here. In fact, the cobblestones are covered with a fine layer of dust, ash. You suddenly know what this will cost you, and you are ready. The orders were clear. The effects of the machine in the syllab relic were wearing off. A child has not been born from... Uh, f not been born... As... Okay. The effects of the machine in the syllab relic were wearing off. A child had been born not far from Deerford recently. Its soul intact. The machine would need to be reactivated. 
Ah, so the machines are stopping the souls. Interesting, and they need sacrifices to work. Need soul energy to work. You and your companions take up your positions. You share a final look of affirmation between yourselves. They don't know your name and you don't know theirs, but you know uh, that you're doing the work of the gods together. None of the rest matters. So the lead and key are actively and consistently doing this. Okay. Like, this is a thing that they've set out to do and then they're, like, they're, you know, refueling it. Okay. Two carved bands of stone in the middle of the machine grind into motion. They rotate in opposite directions, picking up speed until they spin like freshly greased carriage wheels. A wind shrieks through the cavern, accelerating with the stone rings. You press your hands to your ears and grit your teeth against the noise. You're about to shut your eyes when you glimpse a new movement. Rows of triangular flaps around the machine open like petals. You don't know what's happening in the machine, but you feel a tingling at your extremities. Searing pain spreads through your body, a hot, hot knife separating every tissue and ligament within you. All the while, it feels as if you're falling towards the machine, your stomach mashed against your spine. What happened next is too uh, fast to process. What happens next is too fast to process. You awaken from the vision to find yourself kneeling and gasping for air. Holding your head, you let the towels between your knees gradually come into focus. As you catch your breath, you remember how the strange scene you saw outside Silent Liss, where several robed figures fell amidst a howling Beowick. Looking at the ash scattered across the cavern floor, it is apparent that Len Key has been doing this, whatever it is, all over the Deerwood. So, uh, Palk, sir, are you feeling okay? Did you catch alcoholism from the Deerwoodians? You were off on your own little dream for a moment. What's going on with you? Okay, hey. so that's what that is. Nothing will slip past me. That's weird. Okay, so these machines are being turned on in the Grathen ruins, which nobody are to go into. Okay, that makes me think that someone is working with the Dlen Fathens to do this, but I don't know why. But anyway, let's save. Or maybe they're working against the Dlen Fathens? I don't know. Anyway, let's go through the door and see what happens. You hear running water and see a small stream that carves its way into the mountain. Inspect it. A shallow bottom flickers and wavers just under the water's edge, but as you look out towards the tunnel, the bottom disappears into darkness. From here, it's impossible to tell how deep the stream is. However, a faint light plays across the walls of the tunnel. The echo of rushing water suggests the tunnel and stream continue for quite some distance. Okay. Uh, you take slow, sloshing steps towards the mouth of the tunnel, holding yourself upright while the current tugs at your legs. The cold water leaves you gasping, as it rises past your waist, you fight to control your breaths. The, uh, the stream bed soon drops out from underneath your feet, and the current pushes you towards the tunnel with growing force. Swim into the tunnel? Yeah, definitely. The current pushes you through the tunnel faster and faster, tugging you downwards. Over your head, the tunnel narrows and drops, leaving only a thin pocket of air. You take a final deep breath before the current drags you into the depths. Rays of light pierce the darkness, but the current is moving too fast now for you to see more than flickering glimpses as you speed by. You keep your hands in front of yourself and focus on avoiding the jagged rocks that suddenly appear in the darkness jutting from the walls. A light winks at you up ahead. You're approaching fast, but it looks, like, looks to be the mouth of a second smaller tunnel. You might be able to reach it, but your lungs have started to ache. Let's continue with the current. You rush past the side tunnel and see a corkscrew turn up ahead. You anchor your body with the current just in time to avoid the unrushing wall. The contortion forces the last burst of air from your lungs. The last light disappears behind you. You can't tell whether the tunnel has gone dark or whether you're blacking out from lack of air. In either case, you can no longer see the walls around you. Extend your feet in front of you and hope for the best. Your foot strikes an outcropping. Your arm grazes another. The pain has you gritting your teeth, but it's not as bad as you feared. Either the cold waters have numbed your skin or you've slowed. The chit your chest begins to hitch, you clamp your jaws shut and tighten your throat against the choking waters, but soon your body's reflexes will take over. Okay, it just changed the picture. That's where we are. Oh. And we're back here. Um. Okay. I mean, that was cool. I kind of want to know what happens if you, like, Click on the thing. Like, if you, um... 
like if you try and grab the outcropping, but it probably still just takes you there. I don't know. And we're gonna jump. So here's the question. Do we talk to these guys over here and tell them what happened? I think that we do. Also, I saw some wolves up here earlier. Nope. Okay, I guess it was just one wolf. Um, I think that we're going to talk to them. If it turns out to be awful and we're going to murder them all, that's just my attention. We will, uh, we will reload. Hello. People. Can I talk to you? Ah. Well, yes, he says Defiler. Okay. Warriors splashed across the stream, their weapons raised and their painted faces still and stony. You were warned, Estramor. Okay, okay. I kind of thought that might happen, but, you know, I was I was hoping for something else. Right then. I was hoping for lore. We didn't get lore. We got people attacking us. Nothing will okay. slip past me. Well, I guess we'll sneak out as well. Just to be extra safe. Around the back here. There we go. Over to the little land. Um, hmm. Where should we go next? I guess Hadrid House makes sense. Yeah. All the way back to Brackenbury. Okay, so. Uh, we can unstealth because we know this is probably a safe area. We'll see what uh, Lady Webb has to say about things. It's Lady Webb, right? Yeah, it might not be, but it's close enough. That's Cyril, we already did stuff for her. Didn't we? Oh! Assassins? I get them. Um. Okay. A lot of assassins. Burn them. Yeah. Okay. Burning seems to do something. Um, Chanter, get out of here. Oh, not Chanter, um, Cypher. Haravius, switch into Stelgar. Uh, Haravius, Stelgar. You need to switch to your melee weapons and grab this assassin before our Cypher gets grabbed. Okay. Uh, you attack this one. What do we got here? That's Eddier. Eddier, punch the assassin. You blind the assassin. Buff everyone. Um, right. Flank everyone. So everyone counts as being flanked, uh, even when they're not right now, which is great for us. Okay. It probably goes without saying. Um, yeah. Uh, get this assassin. You need to just auto attack something. Get your stuff up. Okay, we got our damage reduction on everyone. What we are here. Huge um, damage reduction. Uh, huge deflection bonus to everyone in the thing. Maybe everyone in the area of effect. Um. Yeah, I guess so. We'll just use that. My mind feels sharp as steel. Okay. Um. I guess we'll let Eddie or go off there. Wolf, come back. You attack this one. There, there we go. It's down. Well, the assassins aren't that bad. Okay. Uh, we can now separate and go and attack another assassin. Okay. Now, all of you guys can attack this one. Uh, you can switch back to your range. Ready, watcher. Okay. And probably hobble them. Okay. I was saving up points on, um, on like, our Cypher to use a really powerful attack, but looks like we're not going to get to use it. Okay. Well, there we go. Who the hell hired these assassins? That's the question. We got, we got a scrawled note. Written on this scrap of parchment is a concise but detailed description of you, including your name, distinguishing features, and every uh, one you've known to have associated with in your brief time in the Deerwood. Uh-huh. Anything else? No. Okay. Not even a task there. Just somebody's trying to kill us. Great. Maybe that's someone to ask Lady Webb about. Right, up the stairs. Okay. Right. 
In we go. What's her name? Lady Webb. Close, right. How fair Hello. is your search? Yes. Uh, I have other questions. Nope. Um, there's something I can tell you about Len Key's active uh, well, operations. Well, let's hear it. Len Key is manipulating a group of Iguatha machines that span the country, and it seems to be causing the Holoborn epidemic. You know, just we'll just say it outright then, huh? <laughs> no uh, subtlety. I had feared they might be involved in Widewind's legacy. It seemed too extreme even for them. How naive I've been. That isn't enough to take to the Duke, but we're close. Avar Wolfgrin is a cautious man. He will want to know everything possible before being moved to action. That's not enough? Okay, hey. that seemed pretty major to me. Okay, well, I guess next time we're going to have to go and uh, finish this. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.